Good morning, guys. Welcome to another week in my business. It's Monday, October 26th. I'm going to take these off. I was just doing my under eye thing. I'm going to film some videos today. I know I look wild right now, but I'm going to look amazing in a second <laughs> or better at least. So last week I launched my new digital product of templates and that was just such a it was so crazy. I'm going to record a podcast kind of all about the launch and kind of like a launch report, but I tried recording bits and pieces um, for a vlog last week and it just didn't happen because it ended up being such a wild week. Uh, so I realized I've never fully documented a full on product launch and I am launching a new digital product this week and finishing it and creating some of it and doing a webinar for it. It's a lot. So I have just like a couple minutes before a meeting with Megan on my team. She has been such a big help with uh, doing a lot of things for this project, which is kind of the first time I've had anyone give any type of help on my products. I mean, I've had people do like maybe an email here or there, but she's been super helpful with bouncing ideas off of each other and, you know, coming up with some email content and things like that. So excited to chat with her about priorities because it's go time. We have four days to get this product up and off the ground. And uh, I'll tell you what it is in a second, but I don't wanna leave her waiting. So I'm gonna get on this call and then we'll come back and talk. <laughs> Okay, call done, lunch done, and now let me tell you what I am creating. Oh, and my camera's blinking at me. I'll be back in about an hour. <laughs> Let's try this again. Got my blankie here, my ponytail. You can see I'm, I've been hard at work. I am launching what's called the Social Media Manager Toolbox, and it is essentially a plethora, 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 that's how you say it. It's a plethora of resources, templates, and tools for aspiring or current freelance social media managers. So this is a perfect companion to my signature course, A Journey Social. And I'm actually thinking I might bundle them together down the road, but for now it's a standalone product, super affordable. I mean, it has everything from like onboarding templates and documents to I'm working on right now a portfolio template, a case study template, um, reporting templates, like literally everything that you could think of. So I'm excited about it. It's something that I've had in my mind for a really long time and I just haven't implemented it. I don't know why it's kind of, I have all this stuff already and I figure, let me just give you guys the keys, let you guys have this stuff. So the first step that I did is I created a Google Drive folder and I pulled any of those documents that I had. Now I'm going through and doing a lot of the Canva stuff, stuff that's not like a Google Doc or Google, Google presentation. And I actually ran into something that's gonna take me a little longer than I expected because I totally forgot a couple of these templates that I have. I built them off of a Canva template. And fun fact, you're not allowed to sell templates to designs that you created using a template in Canva, as far as I understand. And I wouldn't want to anyway, because that's not original. So I'm going through and recreating some of the documents that I do use into an original document, because you can sell a Canva template that is original. I know it's a little confusing, but like, for example, this here is the recreated version. And you know what? I think it's actually better anyway, because one of my hesitations and concerns about doing this was that everybody was just going to literally have the same exact looking documents. And I feel like having it be a little bit more boring and just basic black and white, simple fonts is going to force people to customize it. And that's like going to be something that I'm recording on an intro video. Do not just type in your words and send this off to your client. Customize it. Use your brand colors or use their brand colors. Uh, so yeah, that was a big thing that I was nervous about doing. A lot of people do that. I see it all the time that people use templates and then resell them and... I'm a big rule follower and I think it's actually hurt me somewhat in business because I see people just pumping out content all the time and I'm like, oh, you're not allowed to do that. And I have so many great ideas that I just have never implemented because they're technically illegal or copyright or whatever. But at the same time, I feel like it does help me in the long run because I've seen people get in trouble for stuff like that when they least expect it. So follow the rules, rule follower. That's me, big dork, all right. <laughs> Uh, 
up bright and early to get some work done and I have a Whole Foods order that's supposed to be coming between 6 and 8 so it's a good excuse to get up early so let's get it. So I obviously got dressed, got ready. I have some coaching calls today, so I'm not gonna be only focused on the new digital product today. I have other work to do. So that's why I actually ended up staying up till like 11 working. It was a really long day yesterday, but it did not feel like it at all because I was having so much fun. So that's a good thing. But I got the bulk of the documents done and uploaded to the course platform. I just have two that I need to rework. So a couple similar things where maybe I kind of um, just want to change the formatting of a template or something like that. So I have two more documents I'm gonna finish and I'm confident I'll be able to do those today in between my calls. And then tomorrow I'm going to work on filming the videos. So I'll be doing some Loom videos, explaining how to use each of the documents and kind of sharing some of the use cases for each document and things like that. So. Beyond that, that's pretty much all there is to the actual product. I got up really early to do some client work, by the way. So I wasn't really working on my product. I was working on client work just to get that out of the way so I can really focus for the rest of the day on coaching calls and the product. And that's not it. Hold on. This is going to get exciting. So I am launching today as slash tomorrow because today was kind of like a fake launch because we had some issues. <laughs> the social media manager toolbox. This is, uh, it contains over 15 templates and sample documents. I know a lot of you guys say you like to see kind of how I organize my week. So every Monday, what I typically do is I just like look at my calendar for the next couple weeks and, um, you know, obviously check my email, see what's, what's coming up in the pipeline. And next week is election day, which is, Oh my gosh, I'm like so excited, but also so nervous. So I updated my availability for election day just because I've already voted and stuff, but I just want to take that day and the following day or the following morning off because I'm probably going to stay up late watching, you know, results come in and stuff. I just don't want to be stressed out and have to wake up at 8 a.m. for a call. So I updated my availability for that. And because of that, I went ahead and extended it for the, the last two days of the week, Thursday and Friday, to basically have open availability for my coaching clients in case they can't book time with me on that Tuesday, you know? Yeah, now I think I'm gonna go get ready and get set up to record these videos. I really hope I don't have pasta in my teeth. I just made lunch and um, made like a dinner for lunch. Like I made a really nice lunch, tortellini and um, some little mac and cheese bites, truffle mac and cheese bites that were left over. Um, but I'm just finishing up a client blog post really quick. And then I am going to hop on a coaching call. I had a coaching call at 11 a.m. as well. It's about to be 2 p.m. And then I have one coaching discovery call and that's pretty much it for the day. I mean, as far as calls, but I have a lot of work I wanna get done. I have a lot of stuff for my um, product. I keep wanting to say course, it's not really a course. I also have been looking strange, like, Norris made coffee this morning. He bought like a regular coffee pot. Normally we use like a pour over or a Keurig. And I feel like I'm like, I don't know if he made it really strong or what, but like my eye feels like I can't fully open it. I feel like I want to sneeze. And I don't know, I just like my head kind of hurts. I think it was way too strong. So I'm trying to just like drink water and hope that it kind of goes away. Just got a ton of mail in, so let's see what we got here. First thing I got, I'm not gonna show you, I got my wedding band, which I know is like probably early. We're not getting married till September, but everyone keeps saying like, you guys have so much time. You guys are so you know ahead of the game. No, we want our wedding planned by like February. Like I don't wanna be thinking about it months leading up to actually getting married. So I'm gonna try that on. Got some batteries for my remote teleprompter. Ooh, I got some leggings. I forgot I ordered these. One, it's that time of year, but it's also like that year where I have not worn jeans, I think, basically all year. And then I'm very excited about these. I got two of these colored LED floodlights. So let's go into the office and try them out and I'll share with you why I bought these. Mm, mm. Ooh, strobe. 
Okay, I don't like that. that yeah, triggered. I don't like that. My head hurts. <laughs> I got these LED lights, which I talked about in my last video uh, about my podcast setup that I had ordered, and they came in and they're pretty dang cool. Okay, that's giving me a headache. Can you not do the patterns? <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just wanted to like jazz up the background of my videos a little bit. It's like maybe I'll just do this for the podcast, you know? Yeah, I like this one. I like the pulsating. I don't like the patterns. It literally gives me a headache. I just want plain light. You have the whole color wheel. Oh, I can. Okay, babe. Sorry. It's recording for them too. They're literally gonna have like. Oh, sorry. It's pretty cool. You can add music to it. I told you that. I'm gonna take a nap now, it's 6.30. I was debating, should I? Oh, look at this man. Hey. Yep, I'm gonna take a little nap ski so I can watch my guilty pleasure show tonight, Dancing with the Stars, and get a little bit more work done. But I, I just... love you. <laughs> I love you too. I love you. Uh, yeah. Good morning, guys. Wednesday morning, can you see my purple light shining on me? fun, right? Don't worry, I won't do this every time. Anyway, I am packaging up a couple of um, client welcome kits for coaching clients. I have three of them due to go into the mail, and I'm going to run out and run some errands, drop these off at the post office. I got to pick up some mail from my office space. Uh, what else do I have to do? I think those are the big things I got to do. And then I have some calls. I have a late day today, so... I've been kind of structuring my weeks like this, where like Wednesdays are my late days. I like to offer late days for coaching. Most of my coaching clients are full time, but I do have a few that are still in their day jobs. So it's nice to be able to work later for them. And then also for my membership group, the Freelance Friday Club, that has a wide array of different people. A lot of people are still in their full time jobs. A lot of people are in different countries. So I just find doing a nighttime meeting once in a while is good. So I'm going to do a nighttime. Oh, I'll take you guys along and show you exactly what I'm doing, but yeah, I'll be working later today. So I, it's, it's 11 and I'm kind of starting my day. If I work late, I try to start my day late. I just grabbed the mail and got all of my little revive smoothie bowls I haven't been getting them for the past couple months but honestly like they are really nice and convenient especially for days like today I have an hour before my meeting my first meeting I need to get ready I need to figure out what to eat so I'm probably just gonna make a smoothie uh, they were super filling so I got kiwi and mango acai bowl a bean tabaja super meal liquid gold smoothie budokado super meal clean and green smoothie and coconut cream smoothie. And I got two of each of the, oh, oh gosh. Wow. The only problem is if you don't have a lot of freezer space, it can sometimes be interesting finding a place for them, but, oh gosh, hello. Oh gosh, hello. One moment, please. All right, we're good. So yeah, I have a call in an hour. So I'm going to probably make one of those smoothies then I'm going to get ready. And I did my eye makeup, so I just need to put on some face makeup, do my hair, put on a different outfit. And uh, yeah, let's get it. For anyone who doesn't know this, I'm sure a lot of you do, but if you mail anything out for business or just for your life, uh, those priority mail flat rate envelopes or boxes, those are all free. So you can actually just go to usps.com or whatever their website is and order them and they'll ship them to your house. I just always grab a stack of them when I'm in the post office. Yeah, so just a fun little tip for you. Free, free packaging supplies. You can order them or you can just grab them from the post office. At least I hope you can, because I just grabbed them. <laughs> Change of plans with the smoothie. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm eating this little microwave meal from Amy's and I'm having a little conflict, like an internal conflict right now. And I just need to talk it out. <laughs> I had a meeting put on my calendar from my agency discovery calls and I admittedly didn't like fully look at the, the meeting. One, I'm not really taking new agency clients unless it's like, I always have room for new projects, but 
I, I'm not, in, I'm not like looking for new clients, if that makes sense. I'm, I'm pretty busy as it is with coaching, but I looked at it and it's a recruitment company. And so my last full-time job was a staffing agency, a recruitment company, basically. And I have a, what do you call it? A non-compete which don't even get me into that. Looking back, I would like never sign that if I got another job, at least not for years after your job ends. I get like not working with clients while you're working at your job. But anyway, what's done is done. So I signed a non-compete with them. I think it's up now. I think it was only like a year, but I'm honestly not sure. And I just don't want to get in any kind of potential trouble or even just like lead this person on and then find out, oh, I can't do it where it's not the best fit. So it kind of sucks because I really hate canceling meetings, especially day of, but I think I'm just gonna email and say that uh, I'm not gonna be the best person for this and see if they want me to make a referral and I will do my very best to like refer someone good because I feel bad. But yeah, sometimes things like this just happen. It, it was put on my calendar just like two days ago. So I really didn't have enough time to fully vet, vet this person. But yeah, sometimes stuff like that comes up and uh, yeah, so here's what I wrote, just updating you guys if this situation ever happens to you. I said, hi, hope you're having a great day. Thanks for reaching out. Sorry to do this last minute, but I'll have to cancel today's call. Unfortunately, I'm under a non-compete with my last employer and I'm unable to work in the recruitment staffing space. Furthermore, they would likely be unwilling to offer a reference as you've requested since they're in a competing space. This person asked me if I could give a reference. And then I said, can I send through a referral to you? I have a few freelancers and agencies in mind that may be a good fit, let me know. So that's the best I can do. Again, I feel kind of like a jerk for doing this an hour in advance, but yeah, that's my bad. I'm taking fault for it. So hopefully they'll be nice about it and understanding. All right, sent. That means I have a little bit extra time to have lunch though. So that's good. So I am getting ready to, oh gosh, there's so many cords. Ugh. I am about to hop on a video call with one of my friends who has like a YouTube show, he's kind of doing it talk show style and he's gonna interview me about passive income, which is perfect timing because I just launched a new course uh, or product. It's not really a course, it's like a product. Um, but yeah, I'm just figuring out how to get set up because it's not over Zoom, it's over FaceTime, which I never use FaceTime, number one, so I gotta figure out how to use that. And I need to like set up my phone and or my iPad to be able to be interviewed. So I got this thing when I bought my iPad, I got it on Amazon. So I'm gonna see if I can set this up somehow on my desk. I'm gonna have to take you guys off this tripod because I think I need it. Oh shit. Okay, this is like a little too HD. Like, that's a little too HD for me. I almost just want to use my old iPhone. Like you guys, this is why I have not upgraded my iPhone. Actually I did, I ordered a new iPhone and I'm scared. The cameras are like too good. So I'm powdering, I'm gonna like sit back. I mean, I'm a pretty confident person, but like nobody likes to see every single line in their face, you know? But anywho, uh, I think I got a cool little setup here. I'll show you. So I have my little LED light, casting a little bit of purple, just kind of over my shoulder and bouncing off my face just a little bit. I think it'll be fun. I think he'll be into it. And a little bit of my plant peeking out. And yeah, that's the setup for today. It's as best as I can make it look, I think. I'm about to go live with um, the Good Morning Michigan show. <laughs> Good morning, Michigan. <laughs> Latasha is joining me for a little conversation about passive income. So check it out Stay on uh, my channel, Ryan Redu, if you're interested to wake up with me. <laughs> I'll link it below whenever this goes live. guys so I'm going to wrap up the vlog I actually stopped vlogging last week because I ended up getting the worst migraine that lasted basically all weekend so sorry that that ended abruptly but it's Monday now and I am just uh, getting ready to hop on a call with Megan and a couple other calls and I wanted to share with you before I before I left what I was wearing today because you know, I talked about in my last video that getting dressed for calls, even if you're doing them from home, even if they're on Zoom, it really does help. And I think I have found the ultimate work from home outfit. I feel like I'm wearing sweatpants, but as you can see, 
I'm profesh. I'm wearing a blazer. Okay. Um, so this brand is called Ministry of Supply and they actually just won an award from NASA, a NASA innovation award, which is like pretty fantastic. Every item that they make is carbon neutral, which is huge. But for me, like what I'm really shook about is that they feel like sweatpants. Like seriously, I feel like I'm wearing sweatpants right now, but they look like dress pants. They're super stretchy, super comfortable. And they're also wrinkle resistant. So it makes it like very, very easy again for a work from home person or traveling one day when we travel for work again, whatever that is, I would love that throw it in my suitcase, wear it on a plane, not have to stress about it. So I got, um, I'll put the pieces up on the screen cause I don't remember exactly what they're called, but this blazer is like my new daily blazer. I love the way it's cut. It's like very long, which I love as a very slimming kind of look when it's really long like that for me personally i just like the way it looks um and i got a size four just for size reference and i think it fits perfectly i think if i were to go up it'd be too big on my shoulders but they do have light shoulder padding um they have this nice different kind of sheen on the inside which i love to just give a little pop of something different when you roll your sleeves up and i just think it is gorgeous and then the pants that i got are like i'm going to live in these things i'm telling you so the cool thing about them too is is that they can roll up so they actually have snaps at the bottom of them so you can roll them up and i rolled them up one up extra time because i'm pretty sure i'm five four and in these pants i got them in a medium and they do fit me a little on the loose side i'm like a good size six i would say I, my wedding dress that i bought was a size eight and in bridal it's usually you know runs a little small so i'd say in normal sizes i'm a good size six um so i think that these pants run a little on the big side but i actually like the way that they look a little bit baggier like that or looser and they actually make them more comfortable too but if i wanted a super super tight fitted look i would get a small in these so just for size reference but yeah i really love them and again i'm like i'm gonna look like i am ready for the boardroom even though i feel like i'm ready for the couch so Love it. And you can actually get, I believe it's 20% off any order of $100 or more using my code. And you can also split your payments up using Sezzle. Um, so if you want to go ahead and buy this blazer, but you don't want to buy it all, you know, pay for it all at once, you can split it up into a couple of payments, which makes it a lot more affordable for you, for a gift, whatever you need to do. So um, yeah, I'll have the link for this down below if you want to check it out. And that's it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, leave me a thumbs up if you did. Please, please, please comment down below if you have something nice to say. Hopefully, subscribe. I post videos every Monday and when or Monday and Friday, not Wednesday. Monday and Friday. You're in for a treat because I just worked on my content calendar for the whole rest of the year, and I have a lot of good content coming. So definitely, you're gonna want to stick around if you're into social media, freelancing, entrepreneurship, content creation, any of that stuff. And that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.